All right, welcome back uh, to the second episode, or whatever you call, of uh, Rods with Ray. Today we're going to be working on my 1947 Ford. Uh, it's one of my favorite cars I own, um, very special to me. And the motor inside of it, as I said, and I promised, I would kind of go over, but it's a special motor as well. This motor was the last motor um, project I did with my grandfather. He passed away a couple years ago. He's very special to me, and uh, we did a lot of racing as a family. So I took it out of his Corvette, as I'm not a, I'm not a big Corvette guy, but I do love the fact that it was something that he built with me. And so I took it out, and I put it in the car that I love. Ironically, it's the same color as this Corvette, so that's uh, even cooler in my opinion. So let me show you what this motor is and we'll go from there. So this motor here is a 1993 Chevrolet Corvette LT1 engine, which uh, if you're not familiar with it, it ha usually had an OptiSpark ignition off the front of the crankshaft, which was common to get water issues, which failure points was just a constant issue on these. People hated the OptiSpark ignition system. It was revolutionary at the time, but man, if they got any condensation, you were stranded. Uh, this one has the 24X LS conversion, which basically adds a crank signal, cam signal. It has the coilover ignition system, 411 PCM, which was common in the trucks, the cars uh, of the LS1 uh, 5.3 era. It's a good ignition system. 24X means 24 time crank signal off of the crankshaft with a tooth reluctor wheel. Um, it's a pretty good motor. Uh, this motor here has uh, Eagle crank, Lunati rods, JE pistons, 9 to 1 compression. Uh, it's got ported heads by myself. Uh, double valve springs, decent cam, 550 lift, give or take, 230 duration. So, I mean, it's got a nice rumble to it. 1.7 uh, rockers, it's a hydraulic roller cam. So, it, it should make some pretty decent power, especially with whatever this might be here, which is an M122 blower. It's a one-off, nobody else has it, at least not this design. Might be a few other LT or small block conversions that somebody did, but this is an M122 off of say a Saline Mustang or some Ford of some nature. It just had a bunch of work done, like shave down nose for the uh, spacing, custom pulley, did the throttle body setup so that I could run an LS throttle body, the rear plate so that I could bring it to the front and kind of get it to flow properly. It also has provisions in the back for the bypass valve. It also has the uh, provision to add an intake air sensor in the back. I prefer to have them underneath, not on top. That's just my opinion for tuning purposes. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a nice little motor here and I uh, am very, very happy to have it in my car considering the history on it. So tonight I am going to be doing some wiring, some cleanup on wiring as this has been hacked up a little bit. It's missing the coolant temperature sensor here, so I went ahead and found a pigtail. I'll be wiring that up. And then we're going to be installing the throttle body, the LS throttle body. But before we do that, I have to design a bracket uh, to basically add this universal throttle cable. So probably come off this bolt here. Um, we'll make a temporary bracket for now and then maybe someday make something a little prettier. So I'm mocking up the throttle body here. And basically, as I look at the throttle bracket, I don't have a permanent solution, but I do see this angle bracket I found over a big R might be perfect. It's very strong, it's rigid, and it doesn't quite line up with this hole here that I wanna put it on. So I'm gonna to have to either cut and trim this bottom section and figure out a way to drill a hole so I can fit a bolt right through there. But for now, I'm gonna bring the throttle body over and kind of mock up the location of where the blade is gonna be so that I can put this bracket here to put the cable on and get the right uh, articulation for the throttle pedal. So.
All right, so the radiator here that was sent to me um, did not have the mounts. It didn't line up the stock mounts, but it's much bigger. It's a four core for this motor as I need that for uh, drag and drive events. But basically what I did is I modified this tab here just a little bit so I can put this turnbuckle on here by welding this little bracket here off the frame, which I'll brace here on the bottom. And then adding this turnbuckle here with some washers and a nut, I'm going to go ahead and feed it to the frame under here. This turnbuckle will be in this area. And then I can adjust it in and out. But that would be the best option, in my opinion, to make sure I have plenty of space for the hoses, which the bottom hose has a good spot under here. I'll be adding some AN for the transmission lines, but that is uh, going to work out okay, I think. Pretty pleased with the way the turnbuckle turned out. Um, it comes down, I put it through this bracket here. It comes down to this here with a spacer. Let me take out the tag. It did the spacer through the frame there, so that is really strong. Um, I have some serious bolts holding it down as well, so I mean... Did it on both sides. I was able to adjust it with the turnbuckle. And I got the mounts down here. I got to paint up. That was a good first startup with the motor that we just went through. Uh, it's a dedication to my grandfather. He's, he'd be very proud to see that in that car. Uh, we're going to get some good runs on it, some quarter mile runs, and uh, get some street driving going. But in the meantime, we're going to build an exhaust next, maybe work on some water pump, heater core, you name it. But stay tuned for many more videos to come. We'll have some shorter videos as these long ones can get a little exhausting. So thanks for watching and uh, tune in soon. Thanks.